In the last lecture, we had discussion on time invariant and time variant discrete time systems. And now, in this lecture, we will understand how to find if the given discrete time system is a linear system or non-linear system. Now, if you remember the chapter continuous time systems, there we saw the fact that a system which follows the principle of superposition is known as linear system. Principle of superposition is composed of two laws. The first law is known as law of additivity and the second law is known as law of homogeneity. Now if the system follows the law of additivity and also the law of homogeneity, we will say the system is following the principle of superposition and hence the system is linear system. And we know how to find out if the given system is following the law of additivity and also how to find out if the system is following the law of homogeneity. So we will not go back to all those things. If you don't know about these two laws and how to check if the system is following them, then you can go back to continuous time systems chapter and watch the lectures on linear and non-linear systems. And after solving many examples, we obtained few important conclusions. And in this lecture, we will only use those conclusions to solve the questions. Even in case of continuous time systems, after obtaining the conclusions, we used those conclusions only to solve the questions. Because using the conclusions or you can say the properties, we can directly tick mark the answer. There is no need to check law of additivity and law of homogeneity. So here are the conclusions and now we will take our first our first example in the first example output yn is equal to x to n so it is clear that we are having we are having time scaling here we are having time scaling the variable n is scaled by 2 and if you look at the conclusion number one, it says system linearity is independent of time scaling. Therefore, the system we are having in this case is linear because there is no effect of time scaling on the system linearity. Now let's move on to example number two. In this example, yn is equal to input xn plus 10. So in this relationship, we are having the output term, we are having yn, we are having the input term xn and also we are having one added term. We are having one added term in the system relationship and if you look at the conclusion number 3, you will find if any added or subtracted term other than input and output is available in the system relationship then the system will be non-linear so here we are having the added term and therefore the system having this relationship is going to be non-linear let's move on to the third example in the third example output yn is equal to sampling n multiplied to xn. So it is clear that we are having sampling n as the coefficient in the system relationship. And if you refer to conclusion number two, you will find system linearity is independent of coefficient used in the system relationship. Therefore, there is no effect of the sampling n and the system we are having here is linear in nature. Let's move on to the fourth example. In the fourth example, we are having the output yn equal to sampling of input signal xn. 
Now here you can see that sampling operator is operating on input xn and if you refer to the conclusion which is the third last conclusion you will find trigonometric inverse trigonometric logarithmic exponential roots powers modulus signum and sampling are non-linear operators and whenever non-linear operator is working or operating on the input the system is going to be non-linear let's move on to the fifth example this is the last example in this yn is equal to xn when n is less than 0 and it is equal to xn minus 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0 so in this case we are having split system we are having split system we have already discussed what are split systems and if you refer to the last conclusion you will find split systems are linear systems therefore the system having this relationship between input and output is going to be linear so this is all for the examples and you can see that if you know these conclusions or properties you can directly write down the answers now it's time to give you homework problems and there are four homework problems in the first homework problem, y n is equal to x sampling n and in the second homework problem, output y n is equal to even part of input signal x n. In the third homework problem, output y n is equal to the real part of input signal x n and in the last homework problem output y n is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x k so in all the four problems you are required to find whether the given system relationship is the relationship of linear or non-linear system so once you have your answers post them in comment section and i will end this lecture here see you in the next one